This Palatina, I forgot his tag. It's not Hilda. Jimmy, there we go, Jimmy. No one wants to lose to a Jimmy. Rocking, uh, rocking the Joker tag here. Yeah, too. Nico really stoked for uh, Joker to be in Smash. I know that for sure. And Jimmy, a really uh, good Palutena main. I believe he's from San Diego. Um, definitely had some solid wins in Smash 4 uh, and had some really good showings. But Nico, a beast in his own right right here. And he's got Buster Mode activated. Big damage right there, the down throw into the uh, up B, I think that's like a, co a combo that works specifically because of the Buster Art. Uh, in Buster Art, you have a little bit lower knockback, but you have higher da damage output. Yeah, I mean, you almost got to keep a library to keep track of uh, all of the Monado Arts and exactly what they do. I mean, they all they all do something like really, really interesting for the, for the most part of that word. You know, if you don't know what it is, you're in some trouble. It's similar to like what we were talking about with the uh, Olimar matchup, where if you don't know, like, like not only do you, as an Olimar player, have to be uh, constantly managing your Pikmin the same way that Shulk has to be managing his uh, Monado art usage, uh, but as the person playing against those characters, you have to also understand like what each Pikmin and each art does, like what are their different properties and how do I combat them. So we're down to uh, our second stock here for Jimmy. Really healthy 75% for Nico activating Smash Art. Um, dang, can he get the kill, dude? He's, he's looking at him and kill at 42. God, that's scary. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's exerting a lot of pressure over Jimmy as well as he's not really giving up a lot of big opportunities to him. Where you know, the, the percentage combos that have been given up to him have been, you know, like one hit, two hits. Ooh, okay, Nico trying to uh, backslash onto the ledge, and uh, Jimmy intercepting that with a neutral air. A really good for Jimmy there. Smash art online. Oh, okay, trying to find the dash tag. I probably would have done it, honestly, even from across the stage. All right, threat is gone now. Got Get some vanilla Shulk dancing around in the neutral. And uh, Jimmy, I like the patience that he's playing with as well. Not trying to overcommit despite being down a full stock. Yeah, he kind of lost that patience that you were talking about there for just like a half second yeah. win in. And, you know, Nico just immediately like recognizes it. Yeah. Says, All right, now you're going to face this. And he does with that up B connecting and taking his second stock. And it, it's like you said, I mean, Nico recognizing that situation immediately. And you can't let up any scenarios like that, especially not against players. However, the up smash is going to register for Jimmy, though, bringing us down to two stocks for Nico. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know if it makes much difference there, but he had to jump on there. He might have meant to go for shield. But with that jump on, there's no way he's making it out of that <laughs> one gone. alive. I think Jump Art actually puts him down to a lower weight class than Pichu by like 0.1 or something like that. It's like one point below him. Does it actually change the weight class? I'm gonna have to look at that. Because I know like Shield Art, um, it doesn't actually like change his weight. It like just pretty much, may maybe it's the equivalent of it yeah, like yeah. being lower, but uh, it, it really changes his like, his like fall speed and like his, his like, uh, yeah, his like, like attributes, but his weight I think remains the same. Yeah, I mean, I have to double check it, but I think that that's just like kind of what I heard from the Shulk player. With, uh, if a Shulk player taught, it told you, if a Shulk <laughs> yeah. player told you, dude, I believe He's not it. that good, so I mean, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, Nico's like, again, he's not getting opened up really. Like, you know, Jimmy's getting like one hit on him, getting a back air. Get, you know, sometimes a dash attack, but it's not leading into like, you know, 80%, it's like 15. Yeah, not not anything too significant. And he really needs to make everything count here against Nico. Nico at 150%, really getting a lot of mileage off of this stock. There's the back here sending Jimmy off stage. Nico uh, really putting out the forward airs and the threat and the shield art. <laughs> he went nowhere after that back throw. Back throw actually would have been a solid kill option for Palutena there at the ledge. All right, landing poorly in front of him and then get up smash right in the face. Second up smash kill. Uh, and they're not exactly like a traditional no. up smash kill. It's not like sniping him, jumping, or catching him off stage. It's like, yeah, we're both on stage. We're just going to throw this out. That was so or, scary, actually. Like, I wonder if, if uh, Jimmy had just, like, forward smashed. You know, I guess it has a, a win box. If Nico just, like, free fell to his death. Because he, he, he upbeat off the ledge and he, he overextended patch past the ledge, so. Yeah, if you get that pushback, that would have been, uh, that would have been so tragic for Nico. 
but he's hanging on to his stock right now and he's sitting at 54%. Jimmy at 125 still playing extra patient. There's a neutral air. Yeah, he's, he's really riding that back air. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, smash art into grab into forward throw. Yup. That's that a dead talent. That's just going. great recognition and like great reflexes to be able to be like, oh, you're right here, I can get this grab. Yep. But I'm gonna go smash art first so I can make sure I get this kill. Yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the character has a lot of tools. He's definitely a huge threat in this game. Some people might even say he's a top five character. But uh, he's a character that kind of takes some time getting used to. Like, you have to really be aware of everything at all times. Like, that specific situation. If he had gotten a grab, any other art wouldn't have been a kill. It was just, like, reset back to uh, an edge guarding situation. Maybe he could have gotten the kill that way. Going yeah, to game two on Kalos. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Make everything count. What do you think about this Kalos counterpick? Are you... Um, what, what do you think his kind of thought process is going into to take this? I'm thinking uh, there is a bigger top blast zone, so he's going to live off the top a little bit later. Um, but he's been mostly dying off the side, so maybe that's not quite what he's thinking. Uh, it is a really wide stage, so maybe he just wants a little bit more room to like back away. And on Pokemon Stadium 2, the platforms kind of get in the way, and, and uh, Kalos has the platforms off to the side, which also provide for uh, better recovery, like a better, an easier time getting off the ledge for sure. And that's something against Nico specifically. Like Nico's so good at keeping you at the ledge. Yeah, so maybe a little bit more of a, a player counterpick yeah, than, a, sure. uh, than an know, actual like, character uh, counterpick. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think it might make it a little hard on him to not to like have that high blast zone on the top because he can't just have those up smash kills. And it's like, yeah. all right, well, now you got to add another 30% that's how he, to get him off the that's top. That's how he got both of his stocks in uh, game one, too. With Nico already with a forward throw, taking that uh, first stock. And again, just great situational awareness. He winds up in the smash art to get that forward throw yeah. again. Yeah. That's crazy. Couldn't it be me, man? <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not either. So, uh, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to get Reed the Wolf, man. Like, <laughs> All right, the Joker. Joker. Nico is Joker. <laughs> That's why I, I got it mixed up. Oh, man. Yeah, right. I think we're all going to have to be really afraid if uh, Joker winds up being really good. Oh, dude. Nico's going to be, like, so happy. Mom, why does, why does Nico get two good characters? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he wrote the wrote, wrote it for a little bit there in Smash 4, yeah, though, yeah. so I think he's earned his better he, de he definitely deserves it. <laughs> All right, neutral air off of the ledge. Jimmy trying to go for the drop zone neutral air. That would have killed uh, Nico for sure. That's a really good edge guarding tool, especially if you can get the uh, teleport cancel into the neutral air to make it even, even trickier and quicker. Um, but that's always a risky option. Yeah, I mean, high risk, high reward. I think yeah. I think in a situation like this where you are playing a player like Nico, who's yeah. just like very good, you, you gotta try and make those, those risky Jump. plays where, you know, you're, you're projected to lose anyway, right? Like, you, you might as well just go for it and say, well, screw it, you know, if I lose, I lose. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna try and see what I can make work here. But at the same time, if you, oh, that up tilt, that's gonna do it, yep. So we're gonna move down two stocks apiece, but Jimmy trailing by quite a bit, He's sitting at 120. All right, forward air to dash attack is going to be an easy 20%, and two neutral airs taking him to 46. Yeah, I mean, great composure from Jimmy, where, I mean, like you said, he's, he's down a, a lot of percentage, and he just has, oh. shows no fear, comes straight in. All right, the back air. Oh, he goes for it all with a down air attempt, but not going to connect, and neither is Nico's. We're going right back to the off stage. Back yeah. air. I'm not sure about going for that. You know, when you have him off stage in Smash Art, yeah. you don't necessarily need to, you know, go for the down air spike there. You could go for like a back air or something else that just kind of like puts him off stage a little bit further. Connected. Just trying to bring the hype, man. <laughs> trying to bring the hype. Send him to Shadow Realm if he gets it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like you said, if he's projected to lose, he might as well go for the hype plays, the poggers. Uh, I mean, more like high risk, like high <laughs> oh, yeah, reward no, kind of. I'm, I'm totally, I'm yeah. totally with you. I'm totally with you. But Jimmy actually uh, playing really well on this second stock, or on his last stock, he's at 69. Uh, with uh, Nico at 115, can surely find this stock. He's able to find a read, and Nico activates his smash art and going right to his shield. Okay, he's like going all the colors of the rainbow right <laughs> now. Yeah, he's just uh, showing off a little bit, being like, hey man, I got like five like, oh! you got none. Dang, dude. Dang, dude. 
really, really much down air there from Nico, and he's going to take the 2-0 victory in his pocket and move on in the bracket. Uh, but really, not a bad showing from Jimmy at all. He definitely had some juice. It's just like, it's Nico. This is.